So someone asked me, hey, do you have a gang a Lost World deck? And I was like, no, I don't. But I think I do have a match with one. So um, Elo has been playing around with Gengar. Um, and it is... Bleh, people love it now. They're like, oh, that deck's awesome. And so I, I saved this one before I knew he was using it. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's something different. I'm using Reshi Flow. And um, this guy's using Gengar. As you saw, we he had a mulligan, so I had to draw another card, but didn't really help me out. The only thing that helped me out is uh, actually seeing that he actually had a Gengar. So right away, I knew exactly what I had to do to beat this deck and make sure he was not going to get anything thrown into the Lost Zone with Gengar. So I get to go first, which is awesome. And I'm going to play down Sharon, draw three cards, and I have two Ninetales. Um, since this match, um, I have cut down to a 1-1 one, one Ninetales. Uh, I'm going to peek him away one of my Ninetales, get a Volpix out. Um, I see that he's got a Mime Jr. and a Mr. Mime out. So, I know turn 2 he's not going to get Gengar out, so I can keep Pokemon in my hand. The key to winning this matchup is to make sure you don't have any Pokemon in your hand. Um... And the only way that he can, you know, try and make... Uh, the only way he can try to get me to have cards in my hand, the Pokemon in my hand, is with Spiritomb, or maybe a Judge. Something that's going to let me shuffle my hand back into my deck and draw cards. Uh, a new card in the format, N. Um, trainer, trainer N, um, you shuffle your hand into your deck, and then you draw the same amount of cards as you have prizes. Now that would be a good card for this deck. Now, I'm going to play down Collector, I'm going to get two Cyndaquils and a Reshram. Uh, feeling pretty good about it. Uh, so he's got a Ghastly now and a Slowpoke. Um, and I know he's got a Spiritomb in his hand. So that's the knowledge that I have. I'm not, still not really worried yet. Um, I can get Ninetales out and use his ability and roast away one of my Fire Energies and draw three cards. And play energy on rush ramp. I'm gonna end my turn. Uh, Mr. Uh, his mime junior still asleep. I uh, got my fire energy in the lost zone, and I'm looking at Mr. Mime because I kind of forgot what it did. Um, that's the one where you show each other your hands. You both reveal your hand, and then that's that. So if he was able to get a Gengar out now, he would see that I have a one Pokemon card in my hand. And he could throw, hurl that into the dark zone with Gengar's attack. And he does get a rare candy. Um, his only problem is that um, he, goodness sake, you can't get Mr., uh, Mime Jr. out of the active since it's asleep. Um, I don't think he's got a switch in his hand. And I don't know if he's got an energy in his hand either. He's going to draw another Spirit Tomb, Mime Jr., and another Ghastly. So what I need to do, you guys, is I really need to hone in on that Gengar and just demolish it. Um, this is why the world loves Catcher. It's going to help out quite a bit. Now I'm going to Junk Arm, and I'm going to Junk Arm away a Junk Arm and a Professor Juniper to get a Pecom, because I got a rare candy in my hand. And so one of those Cyndaquils right about to be a Typhlosion. Or, no, uh, yeah. I'm going to peek away the Reshiram, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rare candy in a Typhlosion, and then play down Quilava, thus making it have making myself have no Pokemon in my hand. And um, he cannot hurl into darkness any of my Pokemon to the Lost Zone, which is how you do things. Now, I could... Um, I could just Juniper and draw seven new cards, and hopefully I can get, um, you know, another energy, maybe a catcher. Um, but I'm going to play my two plus powers first because, you know, why not play them? I'm going to have to discard them with Juniper anyways. Tons of fire energies, fire energies everywhere. So I'm going to play fire, I'm going to actually uh, roast reveal and put that energy into the discard and get... Some new cards. I'm going to play Catcher and get that Gengar up. And now I'm going to be able to do 140 damage. Gengar only has 130 HP. So I'm feeling pretty good. Um, don't know why I didn't play down that other Rush Ram. That's probably a mistake. 
Oh, I know why, because I want to evolve into Typhlosion the next turn. That's why. So, uh, Gengar's gone. And now all I have to do is hone in on his other Gengar line. He's now evolving into Haunter. And he's going to play down an Elm and show me that he's going to get a Gengar. Um, the only, I don't like that play because he can't evolve into Gengar that turn. Um, I think he should have saved it to maybe play another supporter if he had it. Uh, but I top deck a catcher, which is whatever. I mean, I have uh, draw support with nine tails. I'm gonna pcom away um, that reshram. Get a typhlosion. Have two typhlosions on the board, and uh, I'm gonna make him go night night. Uh, so now that I have two typhlosions, um, I can do dicky things. I. I I'm going to Rose Reveal, um, draw three more cards, and I'm a little worried there because now I got cards on my thing, but I'm going to kill that Haunter so it doesn't really matter. You share and draw three more. Um, what I would like to see myself do is Pcom away that Nine Tails and get a Cyndaquil. Nine Tails or Cleffa, uh, I'm, really, I'm running really well so I don't really need Cleffa. So I get rid of that. Um, I suppose I kept nine tails. I could junk arm it away if I wanted, or you know, I don't really care about discarding it. Got a rare candy in my hand, so that's gonna be three typhlosions on next turn. Um, I'm now gonna afterburner a couple fire energies on the Reshiram, and he's fully powered up now. And now I'm gonna play down that catcher, and I'm gonna catcher up that haunter. And you're like, hey, whoa, there's like no time left in this video. This guy is going to run. Um, after I KO this thing, he's really got no play. Um, you know, he sees the capture and he decides, that's it for me, I'm done. So that was a quick TCG match. Um, and I know you guys have been hurting to see fizzy videos. And I know some of you are like, hey, keep doing TCG. Don't worry, TCG viewers, I'm going to do this forever. I until the day that I don't upload anything. Um, TCG, I like it way more than the actual game right now. Um, so if you're worried about me not uploading TCG videos, don't be worried because I'm going to upload them. All right. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the match. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.